So here we are today uh, to join this tour. Uh, it's a walking tour, so they will bring us around. And we are at this. I can't pronounce again. Where I do space. I don't know. I call it Rapunzel. Yeah, this R station. <laughs> so let's see what's around here. I don't know if y'all can see again because it's so bright. Because I can't see it myself. Yes, it's really sunny. But it's cool. <laughs> but it's a very nice weather to get to. Oh, KFC. <laughs> Burger King, KFC, McDonald's. Hey, the supermarket there. Natto. Netto. Netto. Starbucks. Hard Rock Cafe. So, oh, yeah, so near Hard Rock Cafe. We will be going there to get some souvenirs for my mummy. The museum. They have a lot of scary, scary things. I used to watch it on TV last time. Right? Yeah. Scandic Palace Hotel. This Scandic pa Hotel is everywhere. Right? I think it's their brand. Yeah, I think it's their brand. I saw Quality Hotel here also. <laughs> They'll be the same, same picture, right? This is another town hall, right? Yeah, correct. You can get married here also. But they don't provide businesses, right? No, they provide. It's just that they are off on Tuesdays. Tuesdays. And that is the Tivioli over there. That we may find some chance to visit. Wow. Oh, we are waiting for our tour to start at ten thirty, which is about fifteen minutes from now. Uh, okay. Our yeah, our dear host, uh, uh, the tour guide Daniel, actually get us to come in. It's not a lot of light things here, even the seven letters, which I show you. Okay. Wow. This is spots, right? Yep. This is another uh, town hall which people can come over to get registered as well. Oh my god, you need to see from the back of the clock, the mechanics. We took a metro here, we changed. Station. Yeah, they have very lovely and nice metro and somebody thought like, whoa! It was in Singapore. We went, we did it like, Esplanade. We went, we did it. But it's so common here. Yeah. <laughs> and I told her that, probably they come up with all this first. Come on, they have a longer history. How will they be coming out with all this later? Yeah, this is, uh, how do I say, they have a lot of very rich heritage and history. The old man, this guy, Jens, Os, Oset, never mind, I'm not going to try. Is it hard? Jen Olsen, photography, right? <laughs> So, wow. The creator of the clock. He must... Wow, he, he died when we had the Japanese war. Oh. He's good at mathematics, geography and geography. Obviously, I think you can tell. I think his physics level is next level high. Uh, uh, let's go see somewhere else. Going to heat up and see what is it. You have to come here. You have to come here, check out the stairs. You have to go there, check out the stairs. Oh, so something. What? Look how empty the ancient doors are. It's all auto. I know, right? waiting for some of the them uh, some of others to join so you see that guy with the green umbrella he's our tour guide Daniel so we're getting started very soon
É, passa na costa. Depois fala que a gente não pode falar da cor dela. É. That's where the Queen would meet and greet foreign dignitaries. And what I found very interesting, you guys might find this a bit nerdy, but I found it really interesting to go down underneath the palace. And when you get down underneath the palace, you can see all the original foundations from those previous palaces. You can also see parts of the city wall down there, and they also have wells where they used to draw up the fresh water. So I found that very interesting. You guys might not, but that's your four different options. Uh, you, are, you are out of luck, I'm afraid, because you're renovating the tower here, because normally that is absolutely free, and uh, you don't have to climb up any steps to get there. They have two elevators. But look, while you're here, if you do see people who are around up there, they might have reopened. They never call me and tell me their plans. Um, so keep an eye on that. If you do see people up If you ever come here to visit and join this tour, make sure you dress really warm, no matter what, unless it's summer, because the wind ah, is unforgiving. Yes, you better just dress warm. It's like, don't even bother with denim. Yeah, because someone in front is freezing. <laughs> we are all surviving on warm packs, and I'm putting my Uniqlo heat tag to the test which so far so good most importantly protect your neck We heard two stories about why all these buildings here are painted so colourful. Not sure yes. which is real, but one is uh, in the past, only the rich can afford colours. So by painting colours means that they are rich. And the other is sailors used to come here and get really drunk. They couldn't recognise where they stay. They only remember the colours. <laughs> so yeah. People can just grab the drink, sandwiches, and sit down. <coughs> yeah, to enjoy their meals. But whatever that you would spend over here is just going to be super costly. Oh, because it's just our so-called tourist traps. But it's definitely nice. Is it a navy? Yeah, Coast Guard. Coast Guard. I think Coast Guard are that colour. Friends, if you are super rich and you think I don't know where to spend your money, 10 million euros. Yeah, consider those apartments over there. Uh, I think 10 million euros. <laughs> and someone just bought. Oh, not too sure what is this, but yeah. I think they are. There's no point here. You know why we don't have fans over here? What did he just say just now? Selection. Natural selection. Natural selection. Natural selection. So, yeah. I'm not sure if there's a rescue, there might be emergency services. I honestly don't know. I don't think there's anything wrong with an exercise here. I can't get up to it. Fair enough. 
participates in those swims. So if these waters are cleaning up for the Crown Prince of Denmark, I think they're cleaning up for us. These waters, they warm up to be about 22 degrees Celsius. That's about 74 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's a lovely temperature. So if you ever do come back to Copenhagen, folks, don't forget to drink a beach towel. Uh, you eat some of the food the Danish people are very open at nudity. Now the reason these waters warm up so much, this is all part of the Baltic Sea. And the Baltic Sea is like a huge big lake. It's not a very deep sea. So because it's not a very deep sea, is the garden but it's now under maintenance uh, so you see the guards oh we missed it i think the guard exchange is at 12. Guards is going to happen at two o'clock. Now that is not the main change of guard. The main change of guard happens every day at twelve o'clock. Uh, if the Queen was in the palace, or if the Crown Prince was in the palace, they also have the marching band uh, for the twelve o'clock change of the guard. But there's no guarantee of that. I mean, the Queen never calls me up and tells me what her plans are. So at the moment, the Queen is not in residence. So uh, chances are they won't be having the marching band tomorrow. But she might find her right back tonight. She just never does call. So the change of guard. Now the guards themselves, the guards are called the Royal Life Saving Guards. Oh, I'm not sure, I can't guarantee who it is folks, but <laughs> that's not Mary unless he's grown a beard. <laughs> no, no, we were quite lucky to catch a glimpse of Princess Mary. Uh, and after that, we wrapped up our tour, we went for lunch and we continued with our second tour. 